I drove six hours down to Iowa to shoot fireflies, and here's the photo I got. I'm creating one typographic animal light stencil each month in 2023. So far, I've created a bison, a wolf, a puffin, a bunny, a tiger, and this month, since it's finally summer, I'm going to be creating a firefly stencil. My buddy Dan told me that the fireflies were really coming out down in Iowa, so I quickly made a firefly design, and my buddy Nate and I took the six hour trek down to the Hawkeye State. Normally, I hand cut my stencils using an X-Acto knife. But this time I was a little pressed for time and this design had a lot more intricate details. So I enlisted the help of my buddy Jeff who has a Cricut vinyl cutter. He printed my design and we were able to transfer it onto a sheet of plexiglass. It looks so nice and crisp, I might have to buy a Cricut myself. Now let's talk about the process. Once we were all settled down in Iowa, I told the guys my plans. I was going to use steel wool to create a fiery texture behind my light stencil. When you light steel wool on fire and spin it, it shoots sparks like crazy. So this was definitely going to be a cool background for my stencil. So here's the top of the jar, mm -hmm. and then we go to our live view here. Oh damn, dude! Right above it. That's sick. I think that'll work. Are we ready to nail this? Is this the one? This is the one. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Once I finished spinning my steel wool, I popped on the lens cap, adjusted my focus, and moved my camera to a second tripod facing a jar opening up to the sky. I took off the lens cap and let the exposure go for 30 more seconds before I stopped the shutter. The idea was to make the firefly design look tiny in the scene, so having a tight framing on the jar was key. After a few attempts, we realized that the fireflies weren't really showing up behind the jar. So we took matters into our own hands and started gently capturing a few fireflies at a time and placing them into the jar. When we got to the point in the exposure where we were showing the jar, I would take the lid off and let the fireflies light up the scene as they slowly flew away. I told the guys that we'd nail this shot pretty quick. It ended up taking us quite a while and it was one of the most challenging photos I've taken in a long time. But here's the final image we got. After that, I let my camera continuously shoot 30 second exposures for the rest of the night to try to capture some more fireflies in the background. Normally, I like to get my shot in one single exposure. But in this case, using the composite method to stack more images of fireflies really took this image to the next level. I'm now officially halfway done with my 2023 typographic animal project. Be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up. Drop a comment and let me know what you think and if you have any ideas for future light stencils. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.